Oh. I know what this reminds me of. Look at that. Here's the funny part about similarities between Nigeria and Kerala that I'm seeing. Man, this is food from Kerala, I'm telling you. Not Nigerian food anymore. Solid, solid out of 10 for me, personally. What are you looking at, you creepy weird elves? Alright, so uh, we're gonna try something different today. I have always wanted to try Nigerian food. Anytime somebody goes to Africa, the most common thing that they try is jollof rice and I have always been wanting to try jollof rice. The unfortunate truth in this city is that there's not a lot of African restaurants. It took me a while to find one that delivers food to my place through Skip the Dishes. We finally have it here and I'm super excited to try this. Alright, let's do it. So this is what I have. Chicken piece. We have the jollof rice itself right here. Nice spicy looking rice. And we have a fried plantain. Ooh la la. Bismillah. Mm. Oh. I wasn't expecting that flavor. Oh my god. It reminds me of something, man. Mm. I know what this reminds me of. Oh my god. So we have a fish curry dish in Kerala, where I'm from. Kerala, my state in India, essentially has uh, two popular kinds of fish curries. There's this kind right here, which is the spicy version. And there's this kind right here, which is the more milder version. It has mango in it too. And it looks milder than the this one right here. This one looks red. And this one is kind of yellowish. And yeah, it has more of a tangy taste than a spicy kick. This right here, Tastes like rice mixed with that spicy fish curry. This tastes really good. I, I wasn't expecting this flavor, especially because I ordered chicken with the rice, because I'm so used to this flavor with fish. Mm. Oh, wow. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this definitely tastes like a fish curry. And my mom, she makes a really good spicy fish curry. And I haven't had it in a long time. So this is a refreshing taste after a long time. The chicken is a little bit on the stringier side. It's hard to cut with a plastic spoon. It's a restaurant dish. What more can you expect? Really digging the flavor. Let's try it with the chicken. Chicken there. The rice. Let's go. I don't know if this is baked or fried chicken, but they've definitely covered it with those spices that they use in the rice too, for sure. Man, the chicken tastes really nice, but it's a little stringy and tough. On the outside, but inside it's kind of juicy though. Yeah, I was not expecting this flavor, because When you look up jollof rice, or when you hear people speak about it, it's just rice 
tomato and spices. What are spices? Anything could be a spice. First thing that comes to your mind is what? Paprika? No, what else? Basically, that's it. We have a version of that in India, in a lot of places in India. It's just plain tomato rice with spices added on it. And that's what I was expecting. This is very different. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh man. Okay, pause. We gotta try this plantain too. Here's the funny part about similarities between Nigeria and Kerala that I'm seeing. We have plantains too. We eat ripe plantains just like that. We even fry ripe plantains. It's kind of like a, not a dessert, but kind of a snack that's sweet, thinly sliced, covered in a batter, deep fried. Tastes amazing. Let's take a bite. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. Oh my god, that's sweet. Man, this is, this is food from Kerala, I'm telling you. This is Indian food, not Nigerian food anymore. The exact same flavor, but I think the dish that I'm thinking about with the fried plantain from Kerala has a little bit more batter around it than this. This is, this, I don't know if this is even battered. This just looks like sliced plantain and this kind of has an al dente bite to it. But this is sweet. This is nice. Oh my God. Wow. Everything in this bowl except the chicken feels like home to me. I grew up eating food with similar flavor profiles. This is, this is crazy, man. I didn't even expect this. Damn. Wow. Okay. Mm. Just like back home. Funny part is, we would never have this combination, or at least that I'm aware of, with the spicy fish curry, the rice, and the plantain. The spicy fish curry and the rice would be more of a lunch thing. Maybe even dinner sometimes. Battered fried plantain is always a tea snack. So at five o'clock in the evening, your mom makes you milk tea with a snack on the side. A lot of the times it will be deep fried uh, plantain. Here's the funny part. If you ask some people, they say that, okay, our food is not palatable for everyone. It's more of an acquired taste, but Zola fries definitely taste like home to me. My taste buds are overwhelmed and happy right now. I'm not even touching the chicken. It's just the rice and plantains. I don't even care about the chicken at this point. <laughs> I obviously wouldn't waste food, of course, but... Solid, solid 9.5 out of 10 for me, personally. Because I grew up eating food with similar flavor profiles, and it reminds me of back home. And I was pleasantly surprised. If I knew or expected what jollof rice would taste like for me, I would probably give it an 8 because I grew up eating this food, right? But I'm pleasantly surprised and I haven't had this flavor in a long time. So 9.5, take it. Take my ratings. Oh my goodness. Now it's time to eat. Guess what? I'm a place on Burner Boy right now.
people, uh, let me talk to you real quick. Not what I was expecting. When I ordered jollof rice, uh, I was expecting a totally foreign taste. Or maybe even something very simple, like just tomato and maybe paprika. But this had a depth of flavor to it, just like the food from Kerala. Tastes super complex, super deep. I can understand why some people say that it's not for everybody's palate. Because it's a lot of things going on at the same time. Your taste buds will literally get overwhelmed. I'm super used to this. I love these kind of flavors. And I fucking loved it. As always, we out.